Hi, Deborah Seif here in Harleysville, Pennsylvania. We've come to Stormfield Park to look at another way to stop erosion and pollution from stormwater from flowing into our streams. Now, what do the words riparian buffer conjure up in your imagination? Something ferocious, mysterious, amusing? Well, I'm here to tell you that a riparian buffer is nothing to be afraid of. It's a term used to describe a gentle landscape surrounding rivers and streams. It's usually made up of trees and shrubs and other plants. When water banks are planted, it's a big help in the filtering of pollution and in keeping the water cool. A riparian buffer can play an important role in managing stormwater runoff. To understand the workings of the riparian buffer, we have Joy Lawrence of the Delaware River Keeper Network. Joy, what is a riparian buffer? Well, a riparian buffer is an area adjacent to the stream that is really there to protect the stream from the effects of the surrounding landscape, runoff, nutrients. Um, it also provides habitat, shade, and other benefits to the stream. So it's all about plants. How long has this particular buffer been here? This is a, a pretty young uh, or just establishing riparian buffer, uh, which is why it looks like it does. It's a meadow right now. Uh, it began by, uh, in 1999, when the township stopped mowing this corridor. And then the following spring, Riverkeeper, the Perkiomen Watershed Conservancy, and the township came together to start putting additional plants into the buffer, particularly trees and shrubs. Those are the important components of a forested riparian buffer and the ones that will give the longest uh, term advantage to the stream and uh, most benefits. How long did it take to put in? Well, it's an ongoing process, actually. We started in 2000 by adding trees and shrubs the length of this project. It's about 4,000 uh, feet of stream bank, really big project. And we couldn't do it all at once. So uh, we did a planting in the spring of 2000. And we've come back again in the spring of 2001. And we added more shrubs and trees. And we're going to be back here again this coming fall. Tell me a little bit about maintaining a riparian buffer. Well, one of the problems that uh, is pretty common in this area, whenever you're converting a landscape from a manicured lawn into a, a natural, more natural stream buffer, is there are going to be invasive plants. That is, plants that you really don't really want there. How you maintain the buffer um, is really a problem because we don't want to encourage a lot of use of herbicides or mm -hmm. pesticides, um, a lot of chemical use near the stream. That's really just an opposite of what we really want people to do. So one of our techniques for maintaining a landscape as it's becoming established is to mow it. Not to mow it every day or every week like you would your regular lawn, but to mow it periodically. Usually early in the summer is a good time. And that will help suppress some of the unwanted species. And that's part of the reason why on this project, we keep planting in and adding more of the plants that we'd like to see here. And what does it cost to put in? I think for this project, our initial cost, we put in $8,000 worth of plants. Over a 4,000 foot reach, that's not very expensive. Um, compared to many other kinds of stream restoration techniques, this one's really quite economical. Let me show you a couple of things that I think will be really interesting. So what I'm gonna do is show you the difference in the soil between over here on the mowed grass and over here in our buffer. Okay. And I've got a little plug that I cut here. And this is our chunk of sod. And over here, I cut a plug. Of our buffer. Well, the first thing that you're going to notice is it's a heck of a lot deeper than this one. Um, uh, it increases the porosity or the moisture holding uh, capacity of the soil so that when it does rain, more water is held in the soil and put into the groundwater recharge than just rinses directly into the stream. There are so many reasons to have riparian buffers. It starts with water quality with uh, reducing the amount of pollutants that reach the stream, 
Um, there's the stabilization of the stream bank, which prevents erosion and sediment when you have plants. The root structures hold the soil together, and this roughness in texture slows rushing water down. It mixes it up, and it prevents uh, erosion on site, but it also slows water down further in the watershed. So tell me, what do the neighbors think about this project? For the most part, they've been really supportive. Um, I think that there was a lot of work that was done before the project was installed to let the neighbors know that there was going to be a landscape change, um, and that was important. Secondly, they have uh, been, there have been concerns uh, among the neighbors for the sort of scruffy look to the landscape. Now, that's a matter of aesthetics. I think a fall meadow is one of the most beautiful things in the world, but we're just getting started here, and there are a lot of weeds and plants that we don't want. So, you know, we try to keep the neighbors informed and explain to them that this is really a transition phase for this landscape, that we hope that the meadow will be a beautiful piece to the landscape, but it's not permanent. Uh, our expectations for this project are that these little trees that you see spaced here and there will eventually grow up into a pretty tall forested canopy. It'll provide the shade and a really beautiful landscape, so it'll be more wooded uh, than this uh, meadow. But that's going to take some years, so it requires patience and vision and the support of our neighbors.